Good morning. Today's June 11th and I am back to share some insight on the new curriculum as I said in the um, new curriculum video I would come back and share since I did not go through the um, the insides of the books and so if you all noticed there were lots of new curriculum and I just want to say that even though it looked like a lot um, keep in mind that there are twins so there are two of each book and they um, are both working on the same level so there's two also some of the books are laid out with 20 units some of them are laid out with 40 units um, maybe 35 and so what I've had to do is because we school year round I am going to stagger using curriculum and this is one of them or these two that I'm about to show you I'm going to stagger because what happened last year was we topped out in November and I had to throw in a lot of um, printables and uh, other units and things like that not that that's bad but it took a lot of work to find the material and then print that stuff out and you know put it together and I learned that this way is a lot faster for me for one child you know it would work uh, just fine but this way I will have something for the duration of the year um, all the way till April May because that's usually when we finish up if I just stagger using the books so let me show you spelling connections is something that I use with my older kids and I love it and so I stick with um, you know what I know what I like and what the kids like so that's what it looks like this is grade one So it'll give you here all of the all of the units and what they're covering. And so here, unit 35, and then you get a dictionary and how to use a dictionary and that type of thing. And so that's something that we're going to get into. The children do have dictionaries. They know what they're for but I want them to be able to um, start using them on their own a little bit this year so and actually let me go into we're not going I'm going to show you the, the beginning but we're not doing any of this because they've already um, gone through all of this so they don't need this but this is how it starts out Fast forward to unit one. Let's see. Here we go. So each week they get their spelling words. They're going to write the spelling words that begin with add. And these are things that we are already doing. So it's kind of a review, but it's a step up from the sounds and letters. And then over here, which they really love, we've already been working in the books. Even though there's no writing, I talked about putting some juice on the curriculum. A lot of times, I get out the big whiteboard and I will put the lesson up on the board, the words, whatever sentences, and we will do the lessons orally. Then I may have them come back in and write just for the handwriting practice. But um, it just depends on, you know, where we are and what we're doing. And I like to make it as engaging and interactive as I can. So putting it on the whiteboard just puts a spin on it. Um, 
So here, which they love doing this type of activity, so they would put make the sound D A D, and then they would go over here and look, and there's a word. Okay, so these are really fun to picture sound and tell me look at the picture and tell me the word, and they're you know they get it instantly. So. Nice creative way to work on phonics. And here's reading. Here's writing, which we have lots of. I'm heavy into reading and writing, so you're going to see a few more books on the reading end once I get to that video. And here's the thinking. And then here's your connection to phonics. Write the word in each sentence. The blank ran up a tree. And then it gives you two word choices to fill in the blank. Okay. So, next unit. page units so fairly easy they can do this in a matter of 15 20 minutes and um, very easy for them to work through this book you know during more than one unit a day if they want to because they would do one and then come back later on and do another so we would move through the books very quickly so that's why I have to keep enough curriculum so that they don't just fly through these books. So back here they get progressively harder. Over here they're underlining spelling words, writing them on the lines. They have write a poem and that type of thing. They're correcting the sentences by proofreading and to unit 29 the carrier challenge word units And then it gives the spelling strategies. And then here's your um, using the dictionary, the ABC order. And then here's their dictionary back here. Oh, very complete, comprehensive, and thorough, and that's why I like to use resources like this because it's not really a lot on my end um, as far as teaching as long as they get the basis of how to understand what's going on and what to do, they're good. It's, you know, all the lessons are pretty much repetitive and that's what they need to grasp the concepts. Once they get it down, they've mastered it. So, write the spelling words that mean the opposite. Write the spelling word that goes with each pair of words. Bird, deer, fox, and then you get your clues. So, there's that. And then in addition to spelling connections, I also have Evan Moore, grade one, building spelling skills. And table of contents, and there are 30 spelling lists. So that one is 35, this one is 30. So I can make 
make a uh, spelling dictionary and they love to do uh, their own books that type of thing it's one of those build a skill books but they have their spelling list sentences and it tells you how to each week uh, go about the lessons and so here they're going to write spell check and they will trace the words <sighs> fill in the boxes and we've also been going through here already um, on the whiteboard so I want to make sure that they understand what they're doing and just kind of see if they are, um, you know, they're actually able to do it. And they are. They grasp the concepts really easily. And they understand the long and the short um, boxes and letters that correlate the misspelled words. This is something we're going to work on. And I dictate just the way it's read. That way they understand what's going on. So when they read it they will say okay this is not correct so this is a lot of has to do with comprehension as well write the sentences find the missing letter where's that rhyme putting a circle around the spelling word so they have to go through and search in is and so forth and here they are cutting out the words and pasting the words that rhyme with the appropriate given word here so a little bit of interactiveness on this part not as, um, of course, you can see the difference between the two curriculum. This one may seem a little dry, but uh, some children function better just black and white. That's pretty much it. The book, the words get progressively harder, and the skills, not a whole lot of skills um, in this one, but it hits the it hits the right points, and that's what we need. We need you know the the color, the visual stimulation, and just the you know basic. Let's get down to business work. So, and then they have their spelling tests. And they have uh, sentence dictations. And then back here, there's your answer key. So. There is that. So that is the difference between the two. And of course, they come in all um, grade levels. And as well as this one, I already I have second grade as well. We're going to work through this one. So, like I said, I just wanted to take the time and share um, an in-depth look at the books so that you can see the difference and hopefully that will um, help you in making your own choice for picking out a new spelling curriculum for your child so if you found this video helpful please leave me a comment thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue to see future videos and if you all are not following me on Instagram and Facebook please do I am sharing P 
PDFs of books, curriculum, Evan Moore, Spectrum, the gamut on a daily basis. So uh, follow me there. That way you can you can um, take advantage of those PDF curriculum books. Bye.